book four of January um, 2014 was uh, The Phoenix Rising, The Ministry of Peculiar Occurrences, book uh, one by Philippa Ballantyne um, and T. Morris. So uh, as you can see from this cover, it's pretty steampunky. Um, there's, you know, corsets and dapper gentlemen and uh, inventions and secret societies. Supernatural mystery is afoot, and who better to deal with it than ordnance enthusiast Eliza Braun and her um, unwilling partner, archivist Wellington Books. Um, in a move fitting Discworld's Veterinary or Potter vs. Dumbledore, uh, the duo is paired together by the secretive ministry boss um, and left to their own devices. And they certainly get up to no good, um, uncover what seems to be a minor and then a major plot, and manage to save queen and country in the process. Um, the good things about this story are the action-packed plot and the witty dialogue, uh, witty slash snarky dialogue, um, between especially um, Braun and Books. Uh, the bad is that I feel like they maybe try so hard to keep the action high that they forget about um, connecting all of the dots. Um, there were a lot of, like, wait, what moments? Um, that pulled me out of the story, and also some unnecessary scenes with reactions that I felt weren't compatible with the characters that had been built for us. Um, there's some romance and some teasing, but the chemistry is a little bit um, strange. Um, yeah. Um, overall, it was an enjoyable, uh, fast-paced read, and those who are interested in steampunk and snarky dialogue and tons of action um, should give it a try, um, but I personally don't think I'll be moving on to the second book of the series unless, uh, you know, it comes up on sale, because I'm really weak to Kindle Daily Deal. It's a problem. Um, but yeah, if you get the chance and you like steampunk... I think it's worth a try.